Typically when I make these then and now series episodes, I like to begin with the first sculpt of the character. However, I'm not exactly sure what my first knuckle sculpt looked like, so I thought this one was a good enough representation of the earlier days. This Knuckles was originally a part of the Sonic Heroes set, most of which hasn't even survived over the years. Obviously, the size of his head is probably the first thing you'll notice because for some reason I decided to make his head big instead of his fists, which are notably small. And he has no detail to any portion of him that should have detail. I know for a fact there were dreadlocks on him at one point, but they've broken off due to age. Regardless, they couldn't have looked very good to begin with. This next Knuckles is a huge improvement over the previous one, and is specifically based on his appearance in Sonic Adventure 2. I may have even sculpted this guy in conjunction with the early SA2 Sonic. The first thing you'll probably notice about this sculpture when compared to the previous one is just the likeness of the sculpt alone. It's so much better proportioned with a much more accurate head and larger fists, plus detail on his shoes and dreadlocks that, for the time, were definitely spot on. I also want to make a note of the colors and how darkened they are. I'm not exactly sure why I did this, but upon first thought it may have had to do with how stylized I thought the SA2 model looked in the darkened levels of the game. He also has a little damage due to his age, and while I don't think he necessarily reflects the in-game model's build too much, for the time this was a well-respected Knuckles. The Sonic the Fighters Knuckles, as well as the entire Sonic the Fighters set, I often consider a rebirth to all my Sonic character sculpts. The Knuckles from this set shows a lot of redesign and rebirth from any of his earlier sculpts for a number of different reasons, starting with strangely his color alone. The first Knuckles had missing colors or just plain wrong colors, and the second Knuckles was entirely too dark. This Knuckles, however, features all of his details sculpted in, and is just the right shade of red. At this time, his dreadlocks were still to the sides of his head instead of wrapping all the way around, and he's in kind of an awkward pose because he fell over in the oven when he was initially being baked. This is also the reason for the slight miscoloring in some areas. I had to do some patchwork, but didn't have any of the original red color left. Right now we're making headway into what might be the first entirely accurate knuckle sculpture as part of the super real set of Sonic characters. Being as this was called the super real set, I purposely made an effort to create the best sculpts of these characters that I ever had to this point, and of course this knuckles definitely exhibits that for being in this set. His head is definitely smaller than his fists, which is a good start, and also his shoes are probably the biggest they've been up to now, most likely because I based this sculpture off of Sonic Adventure 2 where his shoes did look pretty big. Pretty much the only critique I can give this Knuckles is his body size, which is a little too tall and a little too flat. But hey, at least he has all his dreadlocks on his head this time. This Knuckles is a sculpture that I've never officially revealed before because he goes to an incomplete set which at the time I thought would be finished much sooner. If there's one distinct feature to completely describe this Knuckles, it's quality. At around this time in my sculpting history is when I began to take as much time as was necessary to complete a model, which ensured smooth shapes and every detail of the character added in, including elements even as small as the shines in his eye. I think the size also played a role in that consistency quality, as he is much smaller than most of the other Knuckles models I've shown. Obviously his pose is modeled after his Sonic Drift 2 artwork, but I wonder what he would have looked like by 2015 standards had I still needed to sculpt him for this set, like I still need to sculpt Metal Sonic and Amy. And finally we've made it to the last model. This is the most recent Knuckles sculpt albeit being 2 years old. He was also modeled after the Sonic Adventure 2 style and goes along with the Sonic from this set. I can say with confidence that this Knuckles definitely earns his place in the evolution line due to his nearly perfect proportion, color patterns, and overall sculpt. However, to this day the face still bugs me to the point that I feel like I've sculpted better faces on older Knuckles models. I tried this technique that worked well with Sonic where I would push the eye section further into the face for some kind of cool effect. But in doing such on Knuckles and the way that his eyes are shaped, I feel like it didn't work, which resulted in oddly shaped eyes and pupils that were way too small and painted inaccurately on the face. The base is really cool though, as I painted it to look like Wild Canyon, which was a feature specific to this set, though it would be really cool to implement it into future models of all kinds. And check it out, I'm still remembering to put all his dreadlocks on his head. Despite my complaints, I still think this is a very well crafted Knuckles clay model. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, Finn.